no Capitals or uh, Islanders jersey, so uh, so just going neutral neutral tones for this one. It looks like I'm just starting my own tech startup in this. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is the preview for the Islanders and uh, Washington Capitals. The first game uh, going on tomorrow. Um, uh, still got a few more of these to do. Um, some of them may be done in the morning before the games actually start. Um, just the the side, the the yeah, just uh, very time poor at the moment. Uh, I've already put up two videos today. I'm gonna try put up another two and then the podcast and then maybe two in the morning. But yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's dive straight in, shall we? As usual, like to go through the history uh, of these of these franchises, Capitals, um, their games points leader and goals leader. It's it's Alexander Ovechkin. I mean, no surprise there. One thirty one games, one twenty six points and sixty five goals. Holtby has forty nine wins and they hold hold a record of one thirty six wins and one forty eight losses. If they win two games this series, they will uh, leapfrog uh, the Devils in all time playoff wins. The Islanders, Brian Troche uh, has 169 points. Mike Bossy, no surprise there. 85 goals. Den uh, Dennis Potvan, uh, 185 games. And Billy Smith, 88 wins. And they are 151 wins in total and 125 losses. Also, I wrote Holpe has 49 wins in the Islanders section as well. And that's why I paused when I got to it because I was like... Wait, hope he's not part of this team. So yeah, well, how did we get here? Well, you know, uh, Washington didn't play super well um, in the, the round robin game, so they ended up picking up the third seed, and the Islanders destroyed the Florida Panthers in a very, very easy six, very easy succession. Once you saw that first game, you kind of knew that the rest of the series was going to go that way. Um, and uh, yeah, the, I mean, out, out, just point aside, the Panthers have a lot of issues and there'll be a video for another day. Um, but yeah, the Islanders, yeah, pretty much destroyed them. So yeah, I think this is going to be a really fun series. I honestly think I, I'm giving the the edge to the Capitals. I, I think that's a smart money, right? Like it's just a smart thing to do um, to give the edge to the Capitals. Um, they just have a better lineup all, all through. Um, but, you know, Coach Trotz is, is up against his old team and... You know, it would be good to get the win, and, and they, you know, they both have goalies that uh, can be out of form at times and can seal a series. So, uh, so that's going to be very interesting. I just think the Islanders' defense is a little bit suspect, and their uh, their their lower end scoring um, is just not going to match up well against this this team, uh, who isn't definitely not going to go on a cup run. I think they're really missing a player like Niskanen or something like that on, on the Capital side of things. Um, yeah, it just feels like they're missing a piece somewhere in there and, and maybe, you know, someone in the third line as well. Um, but I think they will be okay to beat the Islanders here. Uh, the keys for the Islanders is pretty much just keep that first line from scoring. Don't go on the power play. Just stop them from scoring. And including the defense, obviously Carlson can put up some points. It can be a defensive liability. It has been something that has been mentioned sometimes. Uh, but, you know, he can definitely get some points. And uh, if the Islanders are going to win, it can't be a slug out. It can't be high-scoring offense. Maybe one of the games can be. But, yeah, they can't They can't win games 5-4. They've got to win games 3-2, 3-1, 4-1 if they can, you know, get an empty net at the end. But they've got to suck the life out of the Capitals. And I just don't think they can do that for the whole series. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those series that has a lot of overtimes and a lot of uh, very tight games going into the third. And that's why I give the edge to the Capitals, because I just think they have the ability, they have the experience to be able to, you know, win those those games. Um, also, the Capitals, I, I don't, you know, they didn't have the greatest round robin. I have a feeling they'll be wide awake for game one. They'll be ready to rock and roll. Is a morning game, but so that's the only thing to look at. But yeah, just, just look at them to come out of the gates and play well. Um, might be Holby's last sort of dash with his team. So, uh, you know, he's playing for a contract um, as well. So uh, so there's a fair few things going on that there's enough to, to, to keep you interested with this uh, with this uh, team. On offense, just look for Anders Lee uh, on the Islanders side. He's needs to, he needs to have a very big series, this one. Um, I mean, they all do. They all really do. Eberle needs to be able to get some goals. But I just, I just think Lee... If he can have a, a really good series here, they might be able to get through it um, and, you know, really show what they're worth. Uh, the Capitals, obviously, they're not going to have the advantage in size. It's going to be one of the few teams that they aren't going to be scared if Wilson goes after someone. They've got a few boys that can go over and just say, yeah, yeah drop the gloves. So um, intimidation is not going to be a real issue for this team. That may play in a little bit of their advantage. Derek Brassard's having a great year as well. Um, you know, he's kind of reinventing himself, which is great to see. 
But yeah, I still give the edge, even though there, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. They, you know, this team's been a bit slower. Um, you know, is Kovalchuk at the level of playoff hockey? I guess we'll, we'll find out. It would be so good if, if he could go on a bit of a run, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't hate their defense. Uh, it just, it just misses that one piece, doesn't it? Like you just like they had a Niskanen on here. I really think that they would, um, they would go on a pretty deep tear. I just think they're missing that um, at the moment. But yeah, my my prediction is Capitals in uh in si it's a hard series to pick the amount of games because I, I have a feeling the the games are going to be outside of maybe one game will be a one goal difference, maybe two with an empty netter at the end. But I think it's going to be very close this series. I just think you're just going to see um, at the post the Capitals are just going to get get their faces in front and be able to uh, be able to eke out some wins. It's very similar to the thing that the Penguins weren't able to do uh, last year against this team. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's my whole analysis. That's the uh, that's the video, I guess. Um, if you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, it really does help us out. So yeah, we're on 133 now. So it's, it's like, even from yesterday, it is just climbing unbelievably. I think every single one of you that, that has uh, subbed and, and sort of liked these videos and, and keeps them relevant. Um, I really do appreciate it. You have no idea. I mean, I'm some Australian that talks about hockey, so <laughs> it's not exactly, <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit of a crazy person sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.